Hi, welcome to Toy Hill Studio. My name is Kendall Kessler. I'm going to do another very creative painting of a butterfly. I have a number of butterfly paintings in my portfolio. Some of Monarchs, some, one of a Swallowtail, and a very imaginary one. I think that might be all. And this time I just want to do something completely different. So what I was thinking of doing is I'm going to just use a lot of bleeding technique and I'm just going to bleed one section at a time which is probably going to bug me and I'll probably change my mind but we'll see what happens and then just really let the colors go. The reason I'm doing one section at a time is the paper is really cheap and it's going to dry very quickly. So I'm just going to do this one wing and then I'm going to use a pretty small brush and just let the color go move around into the space just see what happens and I was thinking I might probably stick with uh, warm cool again so I've done it in another some of the other YouTubes but I don't know we'll just see what happens in all these I like to really just invent something and not really decide not make a lot of decisions some of my artwork is based on a tremendous number of decisions but I just want to really have some fun with these it's not that I'm not serious about them, but um, I just want to really let something happen in front of the camera. Just something. See, so far I like it very much. <laughs> we'll just see. Yeah, I'm only using warm colors, so maybe I will stick with that. Even though a lot of people like to call green a cool color. Well, if it has more yellow than blue, it's made with those two colors, it's warm. <laughs> so I definitely have warm in that. Okay, now I'm going to have to get some water on the next one. That went really quick, which is surprising to me. So I was thinking this is going to take a, a lot of time probably off camera, but maybe not. This might be one of my faster ones. Okay, I don't know if I want to stick with the same colors. I mean, this is supposed to be just a very abstract, creative painting, but uh, maybe I will. I can always go back into it. So I am kind of Sticking with that and just getting a little different brushwork. Really like doing these YouTubes, and I really appreciate the people that watch the whole thing. That's very nice. I some of them are kind of long, <laughs> so I kind of feel like, well, I'm probably not going to watch the whole thing, and that's okay. But um, a lot of people tell me they watch the whole YouTube, and that's really nice. I really appreciate that. Okay, oh, kind of like that. I think I'll do a little bit more. I was going to put some other colors in this, but I think I might just kind of restrict the color. As I said, I can always go back into it again. Now it's not going to bleed so much, but you can get it to bleed some again. So whatever I'm getting right now is going to kind of be it. And it'll keep on moving. That's the cool thing about this. It's a watercolor technique, wet and wet or bleeding, that uh, you never know what's going to happen. And you don't know until it's completely dry. So it's quite a difficult technique if you're trying to get a certain effect, like certain effects in skies and all. Watercolors is a very, very difficult medium. I don't agree with people that it's harder than oils. I really think oils is the hardest. But, you know, it's because I do oils. <laughs> I'm sure if I do a lot of watercolors, I might change my mind. But it is an extremely technical, technical medium and you can't really go back into it very much because that messes it up. Okay, I haven't used any, more, any of my very favorite color yet. I'm one of those blue-green blue people. Recently sold several paintings that have a lot of blue-green in them. So the person at the bottom obviously likes them too. Now I, I don't think I'm going to just stick to cool colors though. I think I'm just going to kind of mix it up in the background. But I am going to use a lot of cool colors. So far it's come along a whole lot better than I thought it would. You never know. I thought it was going to just be a little stiff. And not bleed this fast. So that's kind of nice. Yeah, like I said, I'm not going to... I'm going to mix them up. I'll probably go back into the butterfly and do that too. But we'll see. I was pretty intent on doing a red flower kind of zinnia flower, but I don't know. Okay, again, I've got to get it wet again. 
think I did that already, but um, it's, you know, it dries so quick. So, yeah, I did do that. Getting a little forgetful here. But, yeah, I did do that, but uh, dry so quick. So I'm going to make sure that it's wet enough. And not much time's gone, so that's nice. I want to get more of a some really kind of strong, stronger colors in the background. So I'm going to get some, oh boy, that bled. So like I said, it's a technique that um, you have to practice tremendously to get what you want. But since I'm just playing around with it, it's no problem. I'm not trying to get any particular effect, so it's not going to matter. I'm trying to just come up with something that, like I said, balance between control and accident, which is even my highly representational work is still that way. It's still things happen as you paint that you may not have thought about, that aren't exactly in front of you. And that's what I paint. There are some people that are really, really into trying to get as close as they can to what's there. And you really can because life's changing all the time. But, uh, you know, we're all different. Oh, I love blue green. We're all, we all make our own decisions. As I explained to students when I taught at Radford University and explained to a lot of art priest students, since, you know, most of them aren't, well, I'm sure there were some, but I think most of them it was just a course they had to take, that uh, art is a, a type of communication from one person to the next. And a person, an artist, is expressing who they are in a visual way. And I had the best example that I think made a lot of sense to people. I asked them, how are all of you in here artists, visual artists, whether you like it or not? I may have mentioned this in another video, I don't know. And of course, a bunch of them said the way they dress. Well, yeah, sure, that does show some art there. But I said, no, no, actually something that you do. And it's your handwriting. Uh, why is it that no two people write the same way? That's because you're putting yourself. You're putting yourself into your handwriting, in a, your expressing everything that you are, everything that you like and dislike, your philosophy, whatever, in the way you handle a line. That made sense. And I was real pleased that a lot of them really started to understand that. Oh, yeah. And then I showed them a bunch of graphology because I think graphology is so fascinating. I explained to them certain aspects of their handwriting, what it actually, me, actually means. And it is definitely a scientific study some people act like, oh, that's just a bunch of nonsense. No, it's not. It's certainly not to me because I had, saw a lot of students' handwriting and I saw a lot of different personalities in that handwriting. I hope this doesn't dry too fast. I don't know about the red flower since I did so much red in the butterfly. Probably going to change that. Probably go back into the butterfly and do some more things because I don't want them to merge together. I think it's already starting. No, it's still bleeding. Good. Still moving around. It really is something that anybody can do. If you ever want to try this, anyone can do this. Just get the paper wet and you'll figure it out if it doesn't work the first time. And just keep on messing around and eventually you'll get it to it. It just really bleeds all over the place. And it depends on the paper too because uh, if it has more rag content, then it's going to bleed better. But I've noticed it bleeds slower in paper with high rag content, but it will bleed better. Okay, there we go. Bleeding around. There's some pink in there. Really, like I said, I'm not real crazy about the red because of the butterfly. Now, I do have real strong outlines, so I'm not going to lose that butterfly, but um, I think I probably should have picked up blue flower or something. Well, that's what art is all about. You know, control and accident. I think I should have probably thought this out a little bit better. Maybe a little too much accident. Anyway, it's coming along. I've only gone 10 minutes, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might just go back into that butterfly. It's probably getting dry now. And add some different colors. It's probably not going to bleed, but that's okay. So I really don't like the way that is going together. So I think I'll just start to have some fun with some cool colors into that area. Maybe kind of fool around with some markings that I'm making up, of course. And my husband is a well-known naturalist 
in the New River Valley. And if the one thing he knows, it's butterflies. And I have learned a lot from him, and I know a lot of different kinds, but um, they are... It's not what I'm, I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to make some out. Yeah, I like that a whole lot better. I think that it needs to... I need to go back into this. I need to. I'm crazy to say we. Need to go back into this and do more. And it's still bleeding some, too. Which is nice. Because I did want that effect. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a whole lot better. I think that is better. I had a feeling that's what I was going to do. I was going to end up mixing the areas instead of keeping it warm and cool. Oh, wow, like that. You may not be able to see that, the way that blue really came out because of the camera. And notice in YouTube the colors are not really exactly right, not as bright, but that really came out real pretty. So put a little more of that in there. Yeah, I like getting it more complicated. So I've said many times, I really like complicated work. The more complicated, the better. And I think I'm the same way in music. I do play the piano every day. I really do like to play. And I, I like the pieces that are very complicated, lots of notes. I'm real pleased with my latest painting of wildflowers, which is mainly in my main oil painting style. Yeah, I'm going to do more of the flower too. And it is my own take on Impressionism with Expressionism, and it's just unique to me. And this one just turned out so well. I don't care if I'm bragging or not, just it was turned out so well. And it has something that you can't explain to people at all. I've tried. <laughs> there's no way. But uh, there's a wonderful movie that I saw a long time ago. I think it's a 1991 movie. It's pretty old. That is called All the Mornings of the World. It has Gerard Depardieu, whom I like very much. I love all movies, and I have no problem with subtitles. I think it's wonderful to listen to a different language. Yeah, I'm having more fun making this more complicated. And in it, a very super serious musician who isn't going to kowtow to anyone. His music is his life. He's not trying to become rich off of it. It's just everything that he does. And this young man wants to be a student because he knows how good he is. So he plays for him and the man's two daughters. And at, the two daughters just think it's wonderful and just great. And then the musician just cuts them off. And he starts talking to him. And he talks to him about his technical skill. That he goes over all the great things, all his great technical skill. And then he said, I heard no music. Now, I bet most people say, what the heck is he talking about? Makes perfect sense to me. You can have all the skill in the world in art and music, but that doesn't mean it is good. You can be a fantastic draftsman. You can be incredible on arpeggios. That doesn't make it good, in my opinion. There's something more, and it doesn't have anything to do with the level of abstraction. It doesn't matter whether it looks just like an apple or it's an abstract apple or whatever. It's how it's done. And I thought that was the most interesting thing. This man said what I've always thought. There's just so much more to it than technical skill. Oh, I like having the yellow in there. That was a great movie. I really, really liked it. I like all movies, and I'm just fascinated with them. I have quite a collection of TV programs and movies going all the way back to Silent Films. Wow, I'm just doing so much more with this than I thought I was going to do. All the way back to Silent Films, one of my most prized possessions is this incredibly gorgeous restored version of the cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Unbelievable sets in that film. Okay, now the background is looking a little plain to me, but you know, sometimes it's really good to play off plainer areas, off of more complicated areas, so I'm not sure if I want to do anything. I might just go in with just a, a little bit of accents here and there, and then I'm going to quit. Just kind of, instead of all these big swatches, I might, um, just add a little here and there. I think I'll get some real, real light blue-green. And I'm going to quit. And I don't think I'm going back to go back into it. Sometimes I do after I film these YouTubes. But this time I think I'm just going to leave it. And as always, 
prints are available. This is real cheap paint, real cheap paper. I don't sell that. But, uh, and it's also just a little tiny thing. Most people don't like to have little tiny paintings. No, not everybody. But um, I do sell prints, and the prints are incredible. They are archival, last forever, and all different sizes, and you can get on anything. Kind of lost part of the butterfly right through there. I might have to go back in there a little bit with the magic markers. I do want that real strong line. I'm not going to go over that. I'm going to leave that real strong linear accent. Now, there's something else I want to do, and then I'm going to quit. I think I wanted to put a little more blue right through here. It's kind of, even though the bleeding is nice, I think it needs a little, some accents, a little more linear quality. Same with here. And I need my brush, my finger, <laughs> brush. Okay, yeah, I do want to fix that area there. Maybe I can just do it with some purple. And then I might go start getting into some purple. Some dark purple right through there. And I don't want to quit. That way I won't have to go back into it at all. Well, there's just, just a little more I want to do. That's always, as I've said before, the hardest thing about a painting is when do you quit? Especially this type of painting where I am just having fun. Oh, seriously having fun. <laughs> People misunderstand a lot what you say when you're an artist. I mean, I'm very serious about everything I do and I work very hard at it. Have, ever since I can remember, it's just what I do. And, I don't know, I think there's something about the butterfly that's bugging me just a little bit. Don't know what it is. Maybe I should... I don't know. I think I might want to do a little more really light blue-green in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like that. And I messed up the edge again. Yeah, I think I, I'm really liking the more cool colors in that area than the warm. So maybe I'll put a little pink into it too. And then I think I'm just going to quit. Yeah, I might work on it more afterwards, but I doubt it. No, it didn't even show up. Yeah, I want just a little more of the cool colors in there. Cool pink. And then I think I'll probably quit. Don't think I'm going to work on it anymore. Well, thank you for watching. Be sure to click on the link to the final painting. It may... Oh, there's one more thing I want to do. Okay, I forgot. I have forgot the top part of the flower. Do you want to do that? And then I'm going to quit. It's kind of like a zinnia. Don't want to mess up where the antenna are of the butterfly. But yeah, I missed that. Yeah, that's better. Does that look kind of funny, that line there? And what is it? Okay, thank you for watching. <laughs> Be sure to click on the link to see the final painting. This is probably what it's going to be, but it doesn't show up that great on YouTube. So be sure to click on that link and also there are links to my work on Etsy, my website, and others.